Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to attend this conference. Today, I would like to present the paper, SmartWave, Push the Limit of Automation Capability of Verifying Security Protocols by Dynamic Strategies. I'm Cheng Su from University of Science and Technology of China. In recent years, security flaws have been found in several security protocols, such as 4G, TRS, and 5G. The design of security protocols is error-prone. Therefore, verifying security protocols has become a key issue in security. There are several approaches in protocol verification, such as formal methods and fuzzy. Compared with other approaches, formal methods can provide formal security guarantee, but can only achieve partial automation. It may require human guidance when verifying protocols with global states or unbounded sessions. In contrast, other approaches, such as fuzzy, achieve full automation but there are false positives and false negatives in experiments. In this work, our motivation is to achieve full automation in formal methods. Several state-of-the-art formal method tools such as ProVerif and StateVerif use static strategies. They can achieve automated verification for some protocols, but cannot verify complicated protocols such as UBQ protocol. Other tools such as Tamarine and GSVerif lose automation capability to verify more protocols. They require human intervention to guide the tool. In this presentation, we implement Smart Verif, which pushes the limit of automation capability of verifying security protocols. It achieves full automation in verification without any human guidance. We choose 24 typical protocols in our experiments, and the results show that our tool achieves 100% success rate in verifying these protocols, which outperform state-of-the-art tools. SmartWerif uses Tamarin Prover, a formal method tool, as backend, and it is achieved by designing a novel dynamic strategy and replacing the original strategies in Tamarin. To describe our problem definition, we firstly illustrate the verification process in our work. The process is implemented in a verification tree. In the tree, each node represents a proof state. We collected the propositions in each proof step of Tamarin Prover and store it in the node. To uniquely identify a node, we additionally store the hash value of the proposition and the proof step number in the node. The root node of the tree represents the security property. In the tree, the proof state in the child can be used to prove the proof state in its parent. For example, if the proposition send SK in time point I is verified, the proposition simplify is verified. Note that it does not require all the children to be verified, which means if send SK is not verified and the KUHK is verified, the proposition simplify can also be verified. In the verification process, the goal is finding a correct proof path in the tree. A path is correct if and only if the path starts from the root node and ends with a leaf node, which contains an axiom. Since the axiom is assumed to be true in our verification, we can verify the security property following the path. Here, if a node is on a correct path, we define the proposition it contains as a supporting lemma. Based on the previous definition, we present our strategy design. Our dynamic strategy is finding the correct proof path by optimizing itself according to historical incorrect passes. Initially, it uses a purely random strategy to select a path, and then estimates the correctness of the path. If it is correct, the strategy terminates. Otherwise, it optimizes the selection policy using reinforcement learning and reselects a path. After the strategy is optimized, it tends to select a node representing supporting lemma among the candidates, which leads to higher probability of successful verification. The strategy is designed based on our insight. Formally speaking, the insight is that the node representing a supporting lemma is on the incorrect path with lower probability when a random strategy is given. It is proven in our appendix in our paper. Informally, when a path A0 to AN is estimated incorrect, the probabilities of A1, A2 to A-1 being supporting lemmata decrease exponentially. 
Based on the insight, we can leverage the incorrect passes to guide the path selection, which can increase the probability of selecting nodes with supporting lemmata in future rounds. In our implementation, we apply our insight by introducing DeepQ network. DeepQN is a reinforcement learning agent. For each node, it computes a Q value. Here, the Q value represents the probability of the node representing supporting lemma. Then, it tends to select nodes with higher Q values. It adjusts Q values by optimizing itself. In our dynamic strategy, we use DQN to select the pass and optimize the DQN if the selected pass is estimated incorrect. According to our insight, the DQN tends to select a node representing supporting lemma after it is optimized, which leads to higher probability of successful verification. Taking UBK protocol as an example, it is the most important case in our experiment because it is widely studied in recent years. Since it contains global states on unbounded sessions, the large state space leads to non-termination for all the state of the art tools. Therefore, it still cannot be automatically verified. Know that to successfully verify the protocol, Tamarin Prover needs additional human guidance to manually select the supporting lemmata in verification. Here, we illustrate a part of the verification tree. The selection is step number 8 on the correct proof path is B, where selecting other nodes leads to non-termination. However, the default strategy of Tamarin Prover selects A in this step. Since A contains unsupporting lemma, it leads to a loop in verification. In contrast, in our tour, we achieve successful verification. Here, we present the change of the Q values of the nodes in step number 8. Initially, the Q value of each node is the same, 0. After 90 epochs, it finds that node A, C, D, and E may lead to loops. Therefore, there is a slighter difference in their Q values with B's value. In Epoch 40, the difference gets larger. Finally, in Epoch 79, our strategy selects B in step 8 and finds a correct proof pass. In this epoch, B's Q's value is much higher than its siblings. Based on the Q values, SmartWave automatically finds a node with supporting lemma B, such that the protocol can be verified without any user interaction. In our implementation, we solve several technical problems, such as constructing verification tree, estimating the correctness of the pass, and designing the rewards for the DQN. In the tree construction process, the tree is generated and expanded gradually to avoid memory explosion. In each run, only one of the endpoint nodes in the current tree is expanded. The selection of the endpoint node is guided by the DQN. For the correctness determination process, the main idea is to detect whether there are loops along the path, since we find the loops may lead to non-termination in verification. Based on the observation, we design the loop detection algorithm to count the numbers of similar elements on the path. In our DQN, when we estimate an incorrect path, we give a negative reward for all the nodes on the path to adjust their Q values. As a result, it can increase the probability of selecting nodes with supporting lemmata in future rounds, which leads to higher probability of successful verification. In our experiments, we choose typical state-of-the-art tools such as state-verif, setpy, gs-verif, and tamarind prover with different heuristics to compare with smart-verif. The studied protocols include all the protocols that have been evaluated in papers of the compared tools and five protocols with observation equivalence properties. We calculate the success rate of automatically verifying 24 protocols with unbounded sessions using each tool. As illustrated in the table, SmartWerf can fully automatically verify all the protocols. Note that except 24 protocol cases, there are many practical protocols such as TRS, 5G AKA, Smart Contrast, and Blockchain Protocol. They cannot be automatically verified by state-of-the-art tools, but can be fully automatically verified by SmartWerif. For the efficiency and overhead of SmartWerif, we use two metrics, the running time and the training epochs. The results show that our tool verifies protocols in a very efficient way. For most protocols, the epochs are less than 25 and it costs less than half an hour. 
The worst case is PKCS number 11 protocol. Our tool uses 175 epochs and 83 minutes to find the correct proof path. In conclusion, we solve the problem of automatically verifying security protocols using a novel dynamic strategy. This is the first framework that automatically verifies security protocols by dynamic strategies, to the best of our knowledge. The strategy is achieved by using the DQN and designing the rewards and the credits estimating algorithm. Our work achieved generality in designing heuristics and full automation in verification. In our future work, we will use an optimized dating strategy as an initial strategy in SmartWerif. We will also apply our dynamic strategy to other problems, such as automated formal verification of software or systems. Besides, we will optimize the efficiency of SmartWerif. Thank you for listening for my presentation. Do you have any questions?